The planet Earth is made up of thousands of interesting life forms, some of which have similar traits to other species, while some of them look as if they are from another part of the galaxy. But throughout most of the species on the planet, one stands out to being the most majestic, interesting, and one of the largest animals. Elephants. They are indeed big. And today here on FTD Facts, we are talking about the history and some interesting features about the elephant. Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Dave Waffle and welcome to FTD Facts, the channel where we like to teach you guys about, you know, peoples and cultures and places from all around the world. But today, well, we're looking at something different. We're actually looking into the elephant because, first of all, it's one of my favorite animals. And here on the channel, we figured that we wanted to talk about the little creatures of this vast world that we currently live on. And with that in mind, I guess if you guys had any animal as a pet, what animal would it be and why? Me, I'd probably own an elephant if I had a giant backyard. And with that in mind, in one of our update videos, we asked you guys when we announced that we were going to do animals, some people like Sarubamar and What The Fact recommended that we do elephants first. And because of that, considering we are touching on animals, I want to know what future FTD Facts videos on animals we should do, what you guys want to see. Now elephants, they are one of my favorite animals and I hope you like them too. Now they are a creature that is known to be in the Proboscida order, being related to other extinct animals such as the woolly mammoth, making them also part of the Elephas family, which were first described by Swedish zoologist Carl Linnaeus in 1758. But the African elephant didn't really get its name until 1797, when it was given its name by German naturalist Johann Frederick Blumenbach. And as of today, there are eight species of elephants on the entire planet such as the African bush elephant, the African forest elephant, and the popular Asian elephant. And these majestic beasts, all except for the Asian elephant, which lives till 48 years, generally have a lifespan that ranges from 60 to 70 years old. But one thing that's fascinating about these great animals is their communication skills. Firstly, they are loud as their trumpet sound can extend far, and with their great ears and this large sound, they can hear each other up to five or six miles miles away. But their communication skills are not just vocal, just like humans, they also connect through touch. Elephants always love using their trunks and bodies to rub up against each other. This is probably due to the fact that their skin is extremely sensitive, so sensitive that they can feel the flies that land on their skin as they are buzzing around. This sensitive skin is something they also like to protect, especially from the sun's deadly UVs. And these majestic beasts will sometimes coat themselves with mud, not just to keep cool, but to keep their skin protected. Although this may be due to the fact that they have an extremely high intelligence. As a matter of fact, they are almost as intelligent as primates, if not more. Elephants are capable of having emotions that make them self-aware. They indeed have the largest brains of any creature in the animal kingdom, being capable of showing fear, happiness, sadness, and even empathy towards dying animals of their species and other species as well. For example, when environmentalist and world-renowned elephant whisperer Lawrence Anthony died, elephants who worked with him in the past traveled miles to his home to mourn his death. And when it comes to the death of their own species, they will even mourn by crying. This may be due to the fact that elephants are known to have a great memory, and they don't forget things for many years. Scientists believe that elephants may even have an internal mapping system developed in their brain. But remembering where things are and where to go are not just things that the elephant are great at. For example, they can smell water up to 12 miles. And as for the African elephant, they say that range exceeds all other species. Now most of you already know that the elephant is the largest animal roaming the lands of Earth. The African bush elephant, for example, weighs up to 7,000 kilograms, or 15,000 pounds. With the largest elephant recorded, which was unfortunately shot in 1956 in Angola, weighed 11,000 kilograms. Now one thing I'm really amazed at when it comes to elephants is, I look at their size and I say, how can these animals swim when they are so big and heavy? Contrary to what you and I may think, it's their size that makes them able to swim. The reason for this is despite their weight, their large size is what keeps them buoyant. And as well, they use their trunks as snorkels if they get too deep. Which suggests that their love for swimming helped them evolve that way. Now when it comes to fears, well, let's be real, the biggest animal isn't really afraid of much. 
However, ironically, they are not afraid of mice like you and I would think, but instead afraid of things much smaller, and those are ants and bees. And some farmers in Africa, they defend their crops by surrounding their fields with beehives. And when it comes to elephants, there's one thing that we definitely have to talk about, one of their most recognized features, and that is their trunks. When we think about their trunks, it's fascinating because they hold up to 10 liters of water. And this particular appendage has over 40,000 muscles. And to give you an idea, the human body only has 640 muscles. Now many people do think that the trunk has bones within it, however not necessarily the case. And although the trunk may not have bones, it is a very strong part of their body. But however, it can be very delicate and so precise being able to pick up one small grain of rice. And of course, there have been other species on the planet that do have a trunk just like the elephant, and that is the woolly mammoth or the mastodon. But surprisingly enough, the closest living relative to the elephant are these little guys. The Haraxes may not look like they are related to an elephant because they don't have the trunk, and their size has them only totaling 60 to 70 centimeters long. The reason scientists feel that these animals are related to elephants is because their scrotum is much like the elephant's, remaining tucked up in its abdominal cavity. And even their tusks, just like elephants, develop from incisor teeth instead of canine teeth like most other animals, such as the warthog. Elephants are also known to have an extreme hierarchy and work well in a family environment. They are led by a big mama called the matriarch. She is the queen that leads all the elephants within her herd. Within this family, they have a sophisticated social structure which other female elephants focus on protecting the children of the herd. Now these little baby elephants depend on their mothers till about three years old. And the female elephant has the longest gestation period of any animal on the planet coming in at approximately 22 months with females having a single calf every two to five years. And for African elephants, we'll stop having babies at the age of 50. But like I said, one of the amazing things about this creature is it's not just the mom that defends her own child. It's the other females of the herd that pitch in to watch their young, and one reason for this is because their young are born blind but are capable of standing shortly after they are born. Male elephants, however, they aren't quite the same. They usually live in isolation, leaving the herd at around ages 12 or 15. Now for males, their tusks are generally larger or thicker than the females. But with the males of the Sri Lankan species, it's sometimes common to see males without tusks. And speaking about tusks, this is one of the reasons why elephants are hunted and poached. But scientists are quite confused over why they are poached in the first place, as they have discovered that their ivory is basically filled with dentine, which makes bone structure in almost every animal on the planet, therefore not having any special elements to it. And when it comes to these tusks, they may not seem large and heavy, but a pair of these can reach up to 441 pounds. And because of the hunting in African and Asian countries, 96 elephants are killed a day. And one of the reasons for this is that because these animals travel far. And although they receive protection in portions of countries that they visit, in Africa, Africa, 70% of their range is in unprotected zones. And although contrary to belief, not every single elephant is labeled as endangered. As the African elephant is listed as vulnerable, however the Asian elephant, which is listed as endangered, has only 50% of its population since the last 70 years. And even though their entire species may not be endangered, we must keep a careful eye on these majestic creatures and protect them, as they are listed as a keystone species. And what is a keystone species? Well, it's a species that is extraordinarily important to the ecosystem it lives in. And this is because elephants help spread 2,000 seeds of plant life per square kilometer a day because of the amount they eat and the amount they poo. And these animals came under the eye of the public when the United States made an international ban on ivory imports in 1989, which was immediately followed by other countries who recognized that poaching was a problem for elephants. But besides poaching, habitat destruction from agricultural farming is a complete danger to these animals. As scientists have discovered that these animals cannot coexist with humans who have major agricultural farming in those locations due to these animals' food needs. And elephants spend up to 12 to 18 hours eating a day in order to get their intake of 200 to 600 pounds of food. And although it may seem like they consume a lot, they are a great asset to the circle of life. So thanks for watching guys, my name is Dave Wobble and that has been, well, 
saw one of our first videos of us talking about an animal, and that is the elephant. Like I said, if you guys have a recommendation for a future Up to Defects video, let us know down there in the comment section below. Also, if you guys want, head on over to our Patreon page and support us that way. We always want to give out really dedicated and great videos for you guys, and really intense videos that really get into the subject material. But other than that, this has been our first real video diving deep into understanding the elephant. The great beasts of the wild that remind us that although the creature may be smart and strong, it still needs our support to survive. If not for these great animals, certain ecosystems would have never survived. From their amazing intelligence and capability of feeling emotions and having great social structures, it is an animal that has a heart for its kind and others. A protector of its young and a symbol of strength and elegance that even though it may be an animal, we can all be inspired by.